Hey, it's Ingridius here. I'm back with another level walkthrough of the B-Buddy Tale of the Guardians for Xbox One. This is level 4. Uh, you ended level 3 getting uh, trapped inside a uh, um, jail cell after trying to rescue someone. You learn this new technique now called the... Um, I don't know what it's called but you press Y or a B and it um, gives you like spider sense type of thing and this level is called the camp uh, if you saw the title that when we started the level there <coughs> yeah there you go you press B and it shows a um, something that you can actually hit and it reveals hidden stuff so that you can actually move on with the level um, this technique is used starting from this level on so um, just be aware that uh, if, if it seems like a dead end there is probably something that you need to reveal like um, going up here there's it looks like a complete dead end uh, the antenna starts kind of um, tingling push that it reveals a key so just be aware if you're playing this it looks like a complete dead end, it's probably something you need to press B on. Uh, sound stations, you know what to do with them right now. Really quick. They're gonna blow up. Alright, let's move on to the next part of the level. So this is uh me trying to beat the level as quickly as possible I don't try to go for those crystals or anything you can if you want but I recommend that you go for uh, clearing the levels quickly first before trying to get any uh, crystals because of the achievement requiring you to beat the game in under three hours so the first level I recommend about 20 minutes to set us up set aside about 20 minutes there are six levels in the game the rest of the levels about 30 minutes you can go a little bit over so if you calculate uh, 30 minutes times six that's three hours and uh, you have, you needed about 20 minutes for the first level so you got 10 minutes to spare so you can get for example 35 minutes on one level and another 35 minutes on another level and you're, you're, you should still be under three hours so just be quick about things, um, refer to my guide, uh, some of the puzzles can be a little bit confusing towards the end, like level 5 and level 6, so, and you don't want to be stuck on some level for like 30, some, one of the puzzles for like 30 minutes, uh, and you cannot reset the timer by doing, uh, like going back to the main menu and doing something like that. You have to start from chapter uh, level one, uh, chapter one of each level, and go all the way to chapter five for the time to be recorded. 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 Anyway, yeah, for the time to be recorded. So um, you want to try and get this done as quickly as possible without doing any restarts or anything like. That. That's not to say that you cannot go back to the main menu, it just doesn't reset the time, it will continue. If you press continue, it will just start from where you left off. If you spend like 40 minutes on chapter 2 and you decided to go back to the main menu and you continue, then you are starting at 40 minutes. And uh, the Three hours doesn't have to be in one consecutive playthrough. You can, if you find the level that you did pretty bad on, like it took you say an hour, you can go back to just that level and reduce that time to under uh, 30 minutes. And then, um, if that brings the total time to under three hours, you get the achievement. There is an achievement for. Unlocking everything, which doesn't 
seems to unlock everything, whether you just whether you collect beat points or do other stuff. You just you beat the game and it seems to unlock everything. I'm still unclear if that's a bug or not, so uh, you may have to I think the design was design intent was that you have to collect everything, but it turns out you don't. You're introduced to a new version of that enemy that you have. It has an armor, so you have to hit it twice. Uh, previously, it only had um, one hit point, basically, but uh, now you have to hit it twice. So be prepared just in for uh, fighting the armored version. That opens the way that was close to you previously. You see that you want to follow that bubble. Opens that door. Basically, uh, this part of the level, you keep doing this, it opens new ways, and you just follow the bubble to that new new way that just opened up. Uh, you should have gone left before, in one intersection before. I don't think I was supposed to go in there, yeah. I made a mistake. Don't go in there, just keep going up towards the door and up up to the left yep, there we go <coughs> and there should be another you know, another station that's going to open up a new part of the level yeah um it's i i uh, in an attempt to kind of speed run i don't kill the enemies but actually recommend that you kill them because there's a chance that during a cutscene that shows where to go, the enemies may kill you, and that's uh, restart back at the checkpoint. More time wasted than uh, would have taken if you just killed them. So that's chapter complete. Going to the next part of the chapter. Each level has five chapters, so um, and one first chapter begins with the buddy. Second chapter is a big goal, going back and forth until chapter 5. So there's always um, two vehicle sections and three big body sections in each uh, level. Uh, you just saw kind of a new mechanism. It's nothing new, but you, you can't actually um, touch the snail, so you shoot at it, and that uh, gets those guys down. So you can Another instance where you're going backwards. Um, <laughs> it's just not natural human instinct to go backwards. So actually, um, I guess this, that you didn't need to go into that part of the level, but you still have to go backwards. This is the right way to go. So, um, you know, they, that's how they decided to kind of make this part a little bit harder. But it's nothing hard. Another place where you have to shoot, you can't get through that. It's very small. Going towards the like the ladder levels, I do have to talk more because the puzzles do get more complicated. Need a little bit more explanation, but for the most part, just follow along what I do in the video. It's not the game's not terribly hard. It doesn't, really, it doesn't even really require a walkthrough. I think the game is just about the right length for what it is it, um, and for the cost. It's, if it was longer, because the entire game is so similar, I, I don't think I could have liked it more like if it was longer. Actually, may, I actually wish the game was maybe one one level shorter, or the chapters were broken down a little bit differently. Because each level is about 30 minutes, and that's kind of long for a uh, this type of game. And if you look, if you think about it, this is a game about music. So, 
and each usually a music if you look at an average length of a song it's about four or five minutes so if if they had a lot more music and maybe each level was about five six minutes uh, I think I would have liked it more the way that was broken down into but I'm not saying the game is bad or I didn't like it. I liked it enough to finish the game and create a walkthrough. So, so that says a lot. But um, I just would have liked it even more if there were um, other types of music and that uh, it was broken down into about 5 6 minutes per level. But I do understand there was probably some kind of restrictions in that. They, this is an indie game studio, they probably limited to the amount of money they have. So I can completely understand the restrictions that they are working with. So, uh, for this, there is going to be a um, wind, wind current that's pushing you up and to the right, but you have to go left after hitting both snails, so which is what I did there. This you need to use the wind current to get that and get the key. Oh, no, not that way. You have to go around, wait for the current to go by, and then uh, get get ready to go towards the bottom left section using that uh, bounce pad. You have to be kind of quick about it, or you're gonna get sucked into the current again and then pushed out. Okay, this section. You're gonna get one one chance with an advanced training, which is to hit the target three times and then six times. And then after that, it's gonna give you an optional um, target practice, which is to hit all the targets. Do that for an achievement. I don't show it here in, uh, in order to save time. It only takes about 30 seconds, so might as well do it. It's not, it's not terrible. It's not a big waste on time. Just hit all all of the targets without any of the targets resetting and you should get the achievement for completing the elite objective. Here uh, you want to be all of these enemies without getting hit. So go near it to aggravate them and then uh, dash away quickly. I got hit there but just dash away really quickly kill them all so if you do get hit and you're looking for the achievement just uh, restart the checkpoint the checkpoint is just where you started the fight if you already completed this level and you want you want you, need, you missed the achievement this is uh, level 4 chapter 3 check uh, checkpoint you do have to play a little bit of the chapter before you get there, but this is chapter 3. And these guys require 2 hits, so be careful when you're going for the achievement. Hit them once, run away. Just be, just kind of go around in circles, and when you get a chance uh, with the enemy that's kind of off to the side, hit it. Uh, don't go for it when there's like 5 different enemies just surrounding you, that's too dangerous. By the way, I'm not I'm not playing in a way that I just never die. Uh, I die a lot. I die quite a bit. Um, I edited out my death. So the time you see at the at the end of the level, it may say something like 35 minutes, but um, <coughs> but you see the video is about 26 minutes. That's that's the reason I edited out my death. So technically you can finish this level in about 26 minutes, which is what my video is showing. But you're not, you don't have to be that perfect, you can make mistakes. The speed run is very forgiving, unlike some games that, you know, just really really tight deadline on a speed run and you have to get 
you get like three minutes and you have to be really make a perfect run to get that three minutes score. If this is game is not that. It's very very forgiving that uh, if you add up all the times of my videos, um, here is you're looking at level four, but uh, I already have level five and level six all edited. And if you add up all the time, it's like uh, forget, but it's like two hours and twenty minutes. So you have like forty minutes if you if you play like really really well and you don't make too many mistakes. So you have like forty minutes to spare, so you can make a lot of mistakes and still get through. I do have to warn you a little bit that on level 6 I believe it was that I, it took me like an hour and in my first playthrough there are a couple of difficult puzzles in that it cost me a lot of time but once I figured it out it was, it was, nothing, it was nothing difficult, very simple and you have to go around um, what you're doing here is you're creating like a hole so that you can either go around and uh, get like jump in the middle of the hole, like shoot a couple of them. That creates enough of a hole to, for you to kind of follow along. I recommend shooting at least two. One is uh, two. that is too tight. It's a little bit difficult to work with just one enemy, uh, one one slot in between. This you are going upwards to dodge them, like I do. Don't, don't even bother about these guys. Shoot a few of them again. I'll go through. Once again, uh, in, in a vehicle, if you just rest a little bit, kind of like you know games like Call of Duty. It, it, uh, Careful, you can take some real liberties with it and just go for some of the stuff. Um, that is your second, I believe that was my second uh, vehicle section. If I'm counting correctly, and this is the last chapter of the level. Yeah, as I said, kill these guys um, because they are relentless, they will keep following you. Getting hit by these barrels will hurt you a little bit, but I, I at first thought it might be an instant death, but it's about getting two hits from a regular enemy, but you, your health does not regenerate back when you're a beat buddy, so you may want to be a little bit more careful there, but it's okay. There's plenty of health containers around, like there I just got my, all my health back already. Very simple. Yeah, that like that I I explored, I talked about this briefly. Um, <clears throat> you want to kill the enemies before you hit the station because, um, or any switches that might trigger a cutscene. The enemies don't stop moving during a cutscene, so you can get hit um, during the cutscene. And there's nothing you can do about it. You can't move during the cutscene. Only the enemies can. So that's you know, completely um, working against you. And if you do start a checkpoint, you lose that time that you spent uh, getting to the switch or whatever that triggered the cutscene that uh, forced you to die. To come here, I just I'm kind I'm kind of lost to exactly what needs to be done. Since the levels are so long, that even though this is my second playthrough, I'm sometimes not exactly sure where I need to go. So I do make some mistakes here and there. There, you want to kill these things. You can 
can get past them, you can dodge past them, but it's not worth it. Here is a uh, you know, secret, you need, you need to press B, that brings up a switch, and that turns that thing, the pipe, so that you can actually go past the part that you know, I visited before and couldn't go past. And that's towards the bottom right there. Okay, so just keep going and get first kill the guys and get the switch, not the switch, the sound station, because I believe that's what they're called in these. There we go, and we'll put this into the uh, slot. Here, you want to be a little bit careful because if you get hit, you, you drop it. But for the most part, just keep going, it's not, it's not a trouble. Don't go into that area, you don't need it. I just go in there for a couple of health, just to be sure that I have enough health. I don't really need it. Because the health is here. This bomb doesn't blow up for a really long time. I didn't think I'll make it, to be honest. That opens the door and now I can get we can get past that guard that's standing there. And he's just waiting for the green light. And we turned it on. So he says, yeah, you're free to go in, man. Alright, so some kind of symphony is going on. We're gonna go downwards. You did not need to go in there, but if you do, if you do see some B points, uh, feel free to pick it up. Uh, this, I still don't know the exact solution. There are like nine different keys, and only one is the right key. So basically, just try them all. I get kind, I get kind of lucky. Um, I I thought you know press B to enable the senses thing. And that shows me which is the right one, so I try that, and I kind of pick up one of one randomly. I'm not sure which what is the right right solution. So it turns out that is the right one. I get really lucky. There's no, there isn't one that's like glowing in blue or a different color that shows which is the right one. I just get completely lucky there. And I don't know if it's random either, so it may be always the same one that you saw me on the video. You saw me pick up on the video. It may be random. I'm just not sure. But that's the solution. Uh, it doesn't have any logic to it as far as I can tell. This You have to go down the uh, pipe that's to the right first to open up the way uh, in order to get a bounce going to get to that um, switch, the rhythm. Uh -huh. Hit it one more time, that should, because we already are adjusted the uh, deflector, that should bring us there. Hit the switch to open up the one of them. You need to turn all five green lights, so there's five five different areas that you need to go to. This way, yeah, this is the right way. You just go up, keep going up, and all the way at the top is a switch. It's just it's just there, I believe. Yeah. yeah hit the snail, come back down. That's two down, three more to go. I think this is the end of the level once we hit all the switches. Uh, the mid, I believe I go into the middle one, but you don't have to. I may, I may have edited it out. Yeah, I did make even when I when I didn't die, I did make some edits to well, reduce the length of the video. I may have completely just edited it out, going to the wrong path. Go sweet, hit that for the third. You have two more to go now. Let's go into that area.
area, get the sound station. No, not that way. Go back out towards the pipe that's in the middle, top middle. Go up there, um, hit that bounce pad to kind of warp to where the station is. Put it in there, that opens the next green switch. And you have one more switch to go, which is like right, right above that pipe. Not that way. That is the wrong way to go again. Um, it's right above that pipe, the, the where the crystals are. Go. go in there, and it'll bring you up there uh, for the switch. That's all five. That's done. Uh, now go into any of the. Ins and we'll bring you to where the green is and just go through and um, I think that's it yeah you're done with the level so maybe not there's maybe a little bit more to the level but yes you're done now I think all right um so <laughs> the ship is like breaking apart well thanks for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button my name is Sangrias S A S G R I that's, uh, that's my gamer tag too so feel free to add me and I'll shoot I'll see you on the next video.